Hi, physical science students. In Unit 9, uh, there is a little lab assignment that you will complete uh, at the very end of the unit. Uh, it's called Experimenting with Light. And it asks you to use a PhD simulation um, called Bending Light to do some to find some things about how light travels through different materials. So when you when you click on the simulation, when you open it, let's see, it should open so soon in here. Okay, so this is what you will see. Um, basically, you have two different materials. This material in here, you can um, change its properties over here, and the second material, you can change its properties over here. And you have uh, a laser pointer, which you can move, and you have different tools in here to measure angles of incidence and the angle of refraction, and you can measure how intense the light is. So, like, it's 4% reflects, and, uh, of course, 90 uh, six percent goes through into the second material. You can <clears throat> do different experiments. Um, there are some really fancy things in here that you can do, but uh, you can play sort of with this a little bit. The second one in here <clears throat> is fun to play with. You can uh, bend the light uh, in different prisms, and and this is of course how the different optical instruments work, like microscopes and telescopes. You, as the light goes through the different uh, parts. Of, of the instruments, it bends and reflects, and and uh, you can play with multiple rays in here. Um, it will show you also the reflections uh, of the rays. So it's it's a pretty complex simulation in here. You can simulate rainbow in here as well with white light, and uh, for example, you can have it go into a a droplet of water. If we take this triangle back here, uh, it's sort of lag laggy now because it. Uh, this requires some computational power on the computer. Anyway, so you can make it a water droplet uh, and uh, and see how. Well, let's see. Can we can we get this to sort of simulate a rainbow? I, th I think you should be able to somehow play with it and, and get a rainbow out of this, or at least uh, oh, it's really lagging. I won't do it right now. Anyway, uh, what you will you can you can use the simulation to play around with. Um, but it's this third tab where you will um, collect evidence um, for answering the, the questions that are posted in the assignment there. Uh, let's go back here. There are sort of two parts in it. In the first part you will find out whether the light of different colors travels at the same speed. And uh, here you have a meter for traveling how fast light travels. So when you when you place the, the this piece in here into the beam of light, it shows you the relative speed compared to the speed of light in vacuum. So 1c is the speed of light in vacuum. And in air, um, this simulation is assuming that the index of refraction is 1, so the speed of light in air is the same as the speed of light in vacuum. Now, that's not exactly true, but it's very, very close. Um, by the way, you will need to know what the index of refraction means. Hopefully, you will have studied that in, that in, the, in the lesson. Uh, there's also the definition of an index of refraction in here. This is an active text. If you click on this, it will take you to Wikipedia where you can study about index of refraction and how to find it. Um, um, basically, you will need to know what the speed of light feel. Let's say if I want to know this, the index of refraction in this material in here, I will need to know what the speed of light in that material is. And then I compare it to the speed of light in vacuum by dividing the speed of light in vacuum by this speed, and that ratio will give you the index of refraction. Uh, which, by the way, you can see over here what the index of refraction is. Um, what you will need in here is to find out the index of the refraction of these two mystery materials, mystery material A and mystery material B. So you'll need to find the speed of light in those two mystery materials compared to the speed of light in vacuum and use that to calculate the index of refraction for these two materials. Um, Please upload also some screenshots showing your measurements uh, so you have some evidence of your experiment. Um, for the first one, first question where you will be changing the color of light, here you can change the color of light. Um, and again, um, upload some pictures showing uh, experimental evidence or based on what experimenting in here uh, you answer the question. You know, either uh, yes, the speed of light is the same for all colors of light or the speed of light for red color is different for, from the speed of light from green color, uh, upload some screenshots of your evidence so that it would, 
I would I would know that you're not just guessing uh, that that you're basing your answers on some experimenting some playing around with the simulation I hope um, this helps a little bit um, if you have any further questions about how to use the simulation or um, how you know what to do to complete this assignment by the way there's a little uh, completion rubric that tells you what needs to be in your answers in order to to be marked as complete for this assignment to demonstrate mastery but if you have any further questions please email me or skype me and uh, oh, in here uh, there will be a, the video will be uh, sort of placed in here so you'll be able to you know to find this video I I haven't uploaded it but it says in here that the following video will introduce you to the simulation so here is where you will find the embedded video good luck and uh, have a nice day oh look Levi one of our students is online